Imagine the person you love most in this world was suffering from a terminal illness and every day was a struggle for them. There's a simple solution to this. Physician-assisted suicide will be made legal in the US. One explanation for assisted suicide is very simple. It's an individual's right and freedom to die. As stated by euthanasia expert Sean W. Asher and bioethics professor Jacob Appeal, all contempt people have a right to end their own lives. Appeal has suggested that the right to die is a test for the overall freedom of a given society. An expert on the topic pointed out that denying patients the choice to die is a denial of their choice of freedom. In the United States, we pride ourselves on protecting our citizens' rights, but are we protecting their rights but not giving them a choice in the matter and not letting them die with dignity? People with terminal illnesses are having their rights taken away and have nothing they can do about it. Some states have come to this realization and legalized assisted suicide. In these states, it is an effective medical practice. My research shows that six states already legalized assisted suicide. Professional state lawmakers legalized assisted suicide, showing it's an effective way to end one's suffering. In fact, California Governor, Governor Jerry Brown stated, he believed it would be a comfort to have this option if he were dying in prolonged and excruciating pain. People who are put into office for their skill set have legalized assisted suicide, showing it's an effective way to end one's suffering. They are looking for out, out for its state and their people's best interests. The states who legalized assisted suicide had no ulterior motive. They were hoping their dying citizens prevent a terrible death. Assisted suicide also helps termini terminally ill patients die while still in control. An aid in dying has an aid in dying law that has many doctors on easy by Somia Carlin Angla. She states, common reasons people want Assisted suicide is because they were of loss of their anatomy, 92%. They were being less able to engage in activities that made life enjoyable, 90%. And they didn't want to be a burden for their family or caregivers, 41%. When people get to the point of dying from a terminal illness, they are most likely not living life to the fullest. Some people would rather die a quick death, not a painful or embarrassing death. Others find life completely enjoyable, and some view their stay as a burden for their loved ones. Forcing people to keep living a life they can't enjoy can be just as painful for the people and for the people who have to watch them suffer with not only their terminal illness but also their mental health. People are not using this as an easy way out. People are using this to spare them themselves and their loved ones a lot of pain. People will say assisted suicide is inhumane, saying that forcing doctors to harm their patients on request is unacceptable. But isn't forcing people to die a long, painful, and possibly embarrassing death just as inhumane? People with terminal illnesses are t turned into a taking time or forced to wait their time out. 